Thanks Steve, that's great. Great origami. Welcome back to SLBC Youth. We're really pleased to see you again. So how did you get ready this morning? I see if you did get ready. I know some of you stay in your pyjamas all day, especially since it's lockdown. Usually you would wash yourselves and put on clothes. Our clothes help us feel ready to face the day. And in Colossians 3, verse 12 to 14, it tells us to put on a different type of clothing. It says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you, and over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. It's not easy to be compassionate, kind, humble, gentle, patient and forgive all the time. And this is why we need to clothe ourselves. So how do we clothe ourselves? Well, we need to ask God for his help and pray about it. It's not always easy if you find someone particularly difficult or they irritate us. And we all know someone like that. But then it says, over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together. The last thing we put on is our coat, and that helps us to be ready to go outside and stops us from getting cold. So I'm gonna put my coat on now. And love is like our coat. It stops our heart from getting cold towards others and binds the rest of the clothes together. Without love, it's hard to clothe yourselves with compassion and kindness and other values. Jesus' greatest commandment is to love God with all your heart, but second is that we love our neighbours as much as we love ourselves. God loves us so much and we need to show that love to other people. Love has to be more than a feeling, it has to be an act of our will. If we love people, everything else will follow and they will see God's love through us. During lockdown, there are a lot of people in need. It's so easy to just think of our own needs as everyone is struggling in different ways at the moment. But you could really make a difference. There are people who just need someone to talk to as they're feeling a bit down or lonely. There are people that can't get out and need help with their shopping. And there are just so many things we could do. We could just say, well, that person deserves to be like that because they're really grumpy. Or we could put ourselves out, put on our coat of love with Jesus' help and do something to help someone. Maybe you could think of someone you could show kindness to this week. Maybe you could phone or message someone to say you're thinking and praying for them. Let us pray. Father God, thank you that you love us so much. Help us to clothe ourselves with your love so that we can show your love to other people. Help us to think of something that we can make a difference in someone's life this week. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. At the beginning of the passage in Colossians, it reads, Therefore, as God's chosen people. And I just want to ask you a question. Do you know if you are one of God's people? Have you ever made a decision to follow Jesus and ask for his forgiveness? Something to think about. If you have any questions about this or anything else that we have spoken about, you can contact me via Instagram at South Berlin Baptist Church. Well, it's been great to see you this week and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.